Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Josiah. Good morning, Omari. Good morning, Milan. He's here, but he'll be he's on the playground going home, waiting to go home. And good morning, Jeremiah. Oh, his hand is here. You can see his hand. There it is. There he is. Good morning, Jeremiah. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah picked out our book for today. We are going to read in a little bit the biggest pumpkin ever. Maybe we'll make some pumpkins after that, Jeremiah. So this is the book he chose. So that's what we're going to read. Lots going on here. So how do we usually begin? Oh, well, we'll just begin our usual way. This is how we begin. Today is, the weather is, tomorrow is. But there's nothing there. We have to figure it out. But first, I have to let you know something. Up here. Nothing's on there except for a couple holidays of Columbus Day and Halloween. But there's no dates on there. You know why? Because September, September, it's all gone. It's done. It's over till next year. We are now in the month of October. Mm. Mm. Begins with an O. Ah, uh, uh, like an octopus. Who has an O in their na name? Well, the first name, Caitlin, Josiah. Um, oh, and Omari begins with O, and that's it, I think, right, Caitlin? Yeah. October, and they decorated this one with pumpkins because you kind of associate October with Halloween and pumpkins. But not everybody celebrates Halloween, so. Let's put our... That's our, oh yeah, that's what, that's right. I was thinking I was putting the wrong one up. Silly, silly me. Silly, silly Miss Joanne. So, let's find out what day it is for this beautiful first day of October. I mean, it's, be, it's a little chilly right now, but the sun is out. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day. But we need to find out what day it is. So yesterday we were here and yesterday was Thursday. But it's not Thursday anymore. Say bye, Thursday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's sing our song to find out what day it actually is. Let me get all my days out of here. There we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday, which was yesterday. What comes after Thursday? Oh, I'm singing the song. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 So there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, which was yesterday. Whoops, that doesn't help. There we go. There's Thursday, and there's what? What comes next after Thursday? Does, oops, upside down again. I'm, there's Friday, or some, oh, more stuff on the floor. I already have to pick up all our books from uh, that falling over. I'll never learn. So there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Sunday, and then there's Saturday. Do either of those sound like they were right? Is today gonna be Sunday or is it gonna be Friday? Good answer! Jeremiah picked Friday and that's what today is. Good job. You want to help me put it on our, our thing? I need your hand. 
You ready? Pop, 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 pop. It's Friday. Yes, folks, all day. And I already said it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. So let's hope. Oh, it is up here. I'm not on the floor. I didn't want to have to get down and crawl through all those things. It's sunny today, all day. Sunny. You don't care about that, huh? So if today's Friday, what's tomorrow? What's tomorrow? What's the day after today? Yeah, sorry. I subject you to my... Uh, my horrible singing. Mm. Let's see if I can find the day I need. Mm. Of course, it's probably going to be the farthest one away from me. And I'll probably fall off my chair trying to get pick them all up. Mr. Man is a little bit of a klutz. I used to ski, but I never really... I always had problems getting off, falling, getting off the chairlift. I think I fell getting off more, getting off more chairlifts in New England than I got off the right way <laughs> on my feet. I'm a klutz and I have no sense of balance. Today is Friday. What comes after Friday? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Tuesday or then there's Saturday, which is the right day. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then you are right! You're so smart! Then there's Saturday. I go even for Tuesday and Saturday, and Jeremiah chose Saturday. All day long, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh. Yay! Today is set, uh, Friday. It's sunny out, and tomorrow is Saturday. Let me turn this a little bit more so you can see it put up here. So, we know that it's Friday. It's October. But we have to know what number day. What's the first number we start counting on for mm. calendars? Do we start with one, or do we start with two? Mm. How do we start counting? When we first start to count, do we say one, or do we say two? What comes first? Mm. What's today? If it's the first day of the month, is it mm. one or is it two? Mm. Which one? Mm. He's going back and forth. He's just happy. Mm. Which is the first day of the month or the first of anything when we start counting? And if we're not using zero, we count with one. Mm. One, one is the loneliest pumpkin that you'll ever see up here. So today is Friday, October, our new month, first, 2021. All day long, it's going to be the first of, of October. I like it when they're... um. So, for the last day of right now, because it's be, it'll be a new week next week, so I'll be starting with different colors and everything. So we're still on purple, and purple starts with P, along with Play-Doh, where you get it and you smush it and you roll it out and you cut shapes out of it. You can mix it and make different colors, like Mr. Potato Head, which I, I'm going to order as soon as we get our gift cards. Every classroom is supposed to be getting a gift card, and I'm going to order that. Um, piano. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you like that? And paint. We may do some painting today. Jeremiah likes to paint. Mm-hmm. Right? And our number right now is the number five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So now we're going to read the wonderful, wonderful book that Omari picked. And I may ask some questions during it, and I, 
I don't have questions for everything that goes in the book, but I do have my yes. Yes. And I have and I have my no. 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 My yes and no cards. So when I ask questions, I'm gonna make sure I ask them. I'm gonna to try to make sure I ask them in the form of yes or no, so we can all answer. The greatest pumpkin ever. Does everybody know what a pumpkin is? Yes or no? Jeremiah, do you know what a pumpkin is? Yes or no? <laughs> Jeremiah says he knows. And this is a big pumpkin. <laughs> On the back of the book, it's a smaller pumpkin, and they carved it. They carved a jack-o'-lantern out of it. But look at it, it's small, because look at the size of the mice on, with that pumpkin. And look at the size of the mice with this pumpkin. So this is big, big, big. Big! Mm. And it was written by Stephen Kroll mm. and illustrated, or dr the pictures were drawn by Jenny Bissett. Mm. You know what? Let's count how many mice are out here so we can bring that in here. You ready? You're going to help me count? One, mm. two, three, four, five, mm. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to help me count those? There's ten. Give me a hand. Ready? We're going to count the, the mice. One, two, mm. three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Thank you, Jeremiah. Good job. So let's begin. There, I guess that's their house. And look at the garden next to it. They have a big garden next to it they plant. It's either lettuce or cabbage right there. Like cherry tomatoes or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a farmer. I buy my grow I buy my things. I like to go to farm stands, but anyways. I'm saying anyways a lot. Once there were two. One, two, one, two. Two mice who fell in love with the same pumpkin. There's not much in the picture. We're back. I just had to shut it off for a minute because we had a Miss Nicole came in to do something. So we were out there where there were two pumpkins who felt two pumpkins that fell in love with the same mouse. Was that how it went? That's so silly. It's two mm -hmm. mice fell in love with the same pumpkin. Although it doesn't really show that on on here. So that's just kind of a drawing. But just, it's nice to be able to just see what it's like around their garden. Everything's getting big. Oh, you know what? I'm saying we can't see it, but there it is. Because it's just starting to grow, and it's a little orange thing, but because it's just starting. The longer they stay on their vine, the orange, more orange they get, and the bigger they get. Clayton the house mouse, that's Clayton the house mouse, noticed it one day in the vegetable garden. It was still little and green, but Clayton thought he could make it grow really big. It might even get big enough to win the grand prize at the town pumpkin contest. There he is dreaming of the pumpkin contest. He's dreaming of it. But look, he's looking at the little tiny pumpkin but he's dreaming that it's going to grow into that. Big difference in size there. Little, big. Desmond, the field mouse, discovered the pumpkin the same day. He thought he helped it grow. If he helped it grow, it would become the biggest jack-o'-lantern in the neighborhood. Mm. And that's what Desmond is dreaming. Mm -hmm. He wants it to get big and he wants to carve a huge jack-o'-lantern. Uh-oh. So both Clayton and Desmond want the same pumpkin. 
That afternoon, Clayton, Kate, Clayton watered the pumpkin. He also mixed some fertilizer of manure and water. He spread the mixture around the pumpkin to make it grow. There he is spreading the disgusting mixture around. It does help them grow, it's just bleh. That very same night, Desmond went to the garden. He watered the pumpkin too. He also spread some manure mixed with water around it. Uh-oh. I hope they both don't give it too much water. There's too much water, it will kill it. The next day, Clayton watered and fertilized the pumpkin again. Mm. That night, Desmond mm. did the same. And the pumpkin began to grow. See, it's already to that size. Mm. There it was getting a little bit bigger already. And now it's that size. By the end of the month, the pumpkin was so large, Clayton couldn't believe his eyes. So you see it, you see how little it is there and slowly it's getting a little bit bigger. And then more and more. And it's as big as the mouse. Well, as tall as the mouse, but it's bigger than the mouse. See all the different sizes of the pumpkin? Look at the pumpkin right there. Is the pumpkin mm -hmm. still green or is it red? Is it green or red? Green, yes. Green, no. Red, yes. Red, no. Is the pumpkin green, Jeremiah? Yes or no? Yeah, good job, it is green. Mm -hmm. Oop. Well, Jeremiah said it is green. He said yes. <laughs> I know, I am going, oop, because I thought I gave it away, as usual. My goodness, said Clayton's mother. There's Clayton's mom with him. He's the house mouse. And it's not even fully grown. Clayton shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Clayton's mother whispered in his ear, if you want the pumpkin to grow faster, you should sh use sugar water. Now, I'm not a farmer, but I've never heard that. That night, Desmond brought his brother Morris to see the pumpkin. There's Desmond and Morris. There's Desmond and Morris. Morris knew everything there was to know about growing things. That's some pumpkin, he said. Desmond shrugged. All I do is water it. But we know he gives it fertilizer, too. Morris whispered in his ear. You should try using sugar water, he said. Did Morris's brother, Desmond, I mean, did Desmond's brother, Morris, and Clayton's mother suggest the same thing, that you should give it sugar water? Yes? Or no? Whoops. Did they both say the same thing to give the pumpkin sugar water? Yes or no? Did they both? Oh, nice job! He not only looked at it, but he reached out and touched it. Yes! Good job! They both said, good job, to give it sugar water. I was thinking all that do will bring ants, but I don't know. The next day, Clayton dug a small hole beside the pumpkin vine. There he is up there. <coughs> dug a, a small hole. In the hole, he placed a bowl full of sugar water. He cut into the vine a few inches from the pumpkin. In the cut, he put one end of a piece of candle wick and the other end in the sugar bowl, the bowl of sugar water. That night, on the other side of the pumpkin, Desmond did exactly the same. They both gave him sugar water. Here it is. It's getting bigger with the sugar water on both sides. And now look at it. Oh my goodness. Within two weeks, one, two, it was absolutely enormous. Mm. That's another one for big or giant mm. or large. It was enormous. It's even bigger than large. And... Let's see what happens next. The 
pumpkin still growing? I don't know. Clayton was amazed. He ran down the road and peeked into his friend Jimmy's pumpkin patch. The pumpkin Jimmy was growing for the contest looked much smaller. It is much smaller. That's Jimmy's pumpkin. And there's another little one under there. Clayton scratched his head. I have an amazing pumpkin, he said out loud, and I think I'm going to win the contest. That's his friend pumpkin. Look how little that is. And now look at their pumpkin. Woo! It's huge! That night, Desmond and his brother, Morris, spent a long time looking at the pumpkin. How do you think it got that big, Desmond asked. Morris shrugged. A little luck, a little skill. It's going to make some jack-o'-lantern, said Desmond. It sure is, said Morris. A week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger than the family car. Oh my goodness, imagine your pumpkin being bigger than the family car. That must be a huge pumpkin. During the day, everyone he knew came to admire it. <gasps> Look at that beautiful pumpkin. It's so big and it's so nicely shaped. I don't I think that's what they're saying. And at night, all the field mice gathered around to do the same. <gasps> Look at the pumpkin and look at the size of the house. They're the same size. It's as big as his house. By now, summer was almost over. In a week, the pumpkin would be full grown and start turning yellowish and then orange. Yay, that's what we like, the orange pumpkins. Mm. A few weeks after that, it will be ripe and ready for the pumpkin contest. Clayton could hardly wait. The pumpkin was growing so mm. fast. It would soon be larger than his house. Looks like it is now, but maybe a, just by a little bit. Then he had a terrible thought. <gasps> oh no! He had a terrible thought. What do you think it is? I don't know. <laughs> if the pumpkin was so big, how would he get it in the contest? It wouldn't fit in his red wagon. Uh, I'm thinking probably not. It wouldn't even fit in a truck. Well, that's more, that's the truck, so that's even bigger than his red wagon. Oh, no. How is he going to get it there? It's so big. Clayton decided to worry about this when the time came. I, I don't know. I'll think about it later. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. <gasps> it's so big now that it needs two pages for me to show it to you. Two pages. Wow. <laughs> That night, the weather grew colder. Mm. Thinking there might be an early mm. frost, because if it gets really cold at night and we get a frost, it can kill the things that are still outside growing. Clayton rushed out to the pumpkin with his blanket. One was not enough. He started putting blankets on it. Soon, he was rushing back and forth, carrying all the blankets from the house. Well, I don't think I would like that because I've been using a blanket. As he worked, he hummed a little song, and as he hummed, he heard someone else singing. He also began to realize that someone else was covering the pumpkin with blankets, that it wasn't just him. And he's right. There's, his friend is covering, well, the other mouse is covering him too. Right? Right, 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 right. Jerry Maya. Tickle, 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 tickle. Desmond, too, had seen the danger of an early frost. He, too, had brought blankets for the pumpkin. And as he worked, he sang a little song. And as he sang, he began to realize that someone else was humming. They're finally beginning, going to be becoming aware, aware of each other. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I get so tongue twisted. Clayton stopped humming. He put down his pile of blankets and peered around the corner of a pumpkin. Desmond stopped singing. He put down his blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. The two of them bumped heads. Oh no, they bumped heads so hard they fell over. Look, they bumped their heads. Oh, ouch. They fell down. 
You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Clayton. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Desmond. That's why it got so big, you think? Because they've both been doing it? That's why it got so big, said Desmond. They burst out and laughing. So I guess they didn't bump their heads and fall down. This is when they burst out laughing. They fell down then. They hit, they bumped their heads. They bumped their heads. With everything, when everything had been explained, Clayton said, I know I'll win the contest if I can get the pumpkin to town. Desmond smiled. I'll help you. Just that, just let me carve the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween when the contest is over. They compromised. They said, it's a deal. And they shook hands on it. It's a deal. See, they're reaching out to shake hands. Something we really don't do nowadays because of COVID. We don't want to be touching other people. The morning of the contest was bright and sunny. Mice were bringing their pumpkins to town square by truck and car and wagon. Some were rolling them along the ground. It's the big pumpkin contest and everybody's bringing their pumpkin in. Mm. Yeah, Jeremiah likes this picture. Let's see how many pumpkins we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know there's another one there, but we can't see it, so we can't count it. There's nine pumpkins there. See them? <laughs> They're all on their bikes. <laughs> Suddenly they all stop short. Over the fields came the biggest pumpkin anybody had ever seen. It was being pulled by a hundred field mice on motorcycles. So they all stop what they're doing. So look at this, the big pumpkin arriving by being pulled by motorcycles. Mice on motorcycles, imagine that. When the pumpkin reached town, it was too big for any of the streets. Clayton had to explain why they couldn't bring it to the square. Yeah, that's not gonna fit in there. The mayor understood at once. He led the crowd to the giant pumpkin and pinned the first prize ribbon on its side. Then everyone danced around. Who would have believed this, said Clayton as he danced. Who would have believed this, said Desmond at the same moment. There he is, picking the rib, putting the ribbon on it. First prize. That's the biggest pumpkin this year. Imagine carve, having to carve out this and, open, and pulling out all the insides and getting the seeds. We'll be doing another pumpkin this year in a little while. When the celebration was over, the hundred field mice pulled the pumpkin back to the field. The day before Halloween, they carved it into the best jack-o'-lantern ever. There they are carving it. They have their eye, they have its eyes. He's working on the nose. They're inside pulling out the seeds and the guts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Last year we pulled out the guts and stuff and Jeremiah, oh, Jeremiah wasn't in school. Sorry, Jeremiah. Josiah loved it. Amari, not so much. But this year we're hoping he'll like it. And on Halloween night, it's wonderful. Smiling face could be seen glowing for miles around. Now, imagine walking around and you saw that huge pumpkin up the jack-o'-lantern and little things all dancing around it. I think I would run back home. I'd be scared. I know I would. The end. Nothing left. That's our story. So what do you think? Did Jeremiah pick out a good book for us to read? I liked it. Did you guys like it? Yes or no? I hope you, I hope you chose yes because Jeremiah was really happy, as you can hear, for us to read it. So, since today is Friday, I won't see you again until Monday. I hope you guys can have some fun this weekend and that you're all feeling better soon. Talk to you later. Bye.